thought it possible. Who would have believed it would really happen? But in 1948, the unbelievable happened. After 2,000 years of exile, the Jewish people returned to their homeland and established the state of Israel. How did so few succeed in establishing a flourishing country in a wilderness lacking in natural resources? How did the state of Israel turn into one of the world's leaders in technology and science? Who are the people who contributed to Israel's breakthroughs in technology? In 1969, the late Professor Ze'ev Lev established JCT, the Jerusalem College of Technology. ללמוד לא רק דברים מדעיים, אלא ללמוד על העבר שלהם, על המסורת. My name is Yal Shekel, I'm the founder and CEO of Kiaro Networks. We manufacture here sophisticated electro-optical devices for the defense industry, mostly in Israel. My name is Dr. Yoram Lever and I'm the CEO of a general hospital in Israel that called Ma'ayane Hayeshua. My name is Dov Rubin. I'm the co-founder of NDS and currently vice president of NDS Americas. After graduation, I joined the Ordnance Corps in the Israeli Defense Forces, serving for 23 years. In my last position as a colonel, I was in charge for all the development and logistics for all the electronics and electro-optics weapon system for the Israeli ground forces. Machon Lev is JCT's flagship institute, embodying the ideas of Torah and Der Eretz, the synthesis of Jewish learning and values with professional academic studies. The Jerusalem College of Technology subsequently established Machon Tau, its institute for women, Machon Nave, its institute for students from the Haredi community, and Machon Lustig, JCT's institute for Haredi women in the Tel Aviv area. Professor Lev was my instructor, and he really was a person who had vision. He had dreams, but at the same time, he was a practical person. He started out with the Jerusalem College of Technology, and as we started out, we had maybe 20 students here. We now have 2,000 students, and we're looking into the future to develop even further than we have, and carry Professor Lev, the Chronoli Bracha, dreams further than he had even contemplated at the time. JCT students devote many hours to Judaic studies, successfully harmonizing commitment to Jewish values with total participation in Israeli society. All eligible students serve in the Israel Defense Forces, and 30% of them become officers. In or out of uniform, they are respected leaders in their field. I joined Machon Lev as a student in uh, uh, 1976. Coming to Machon Lev after high school was really a challenge. Learning like 10 hours a day, five, six hours learning Torah and Gemara and all the moral issues, and then another five, six hours uh, of physics and electro-optics, and it certainly changed my life. JCT's student body is a microcosm of the Jewish people. Newcomers from the former Soviet Union, Ethiopia, South America, North America, Europe, Australia, and South Africa all blend easily with their Israeli colleagues in a home-like atmosphere. My name is uh, Daniel Bamberger. I study in uh, Machon Lev. I'm learning uh, Tasyav Nihul, that's industrial engineering. I was born in South Africa, and uh, about three years ago I made Aliyah after I finished high school. Um, after that I, I learned in Yeshiva for uh, one and a half years, and then I started uh, here at the Machon about a year ago. For me, studying here in JCT, Jerusalem College of Technology, is a fulfillment of a dream, giving me the opportunity to receive an academic degree at the highest level and become an electronic engineer here in Israel. 
Almost half the students at JCT are women, enrolled in various academic programs at the Hon Tao and the Hon Lustig. We just finished my second year in electro-optics in Mechon Tal. At Mechon Tal, we are able to study subjects that were previously considered male-dominated in an environment that is suited to our needs. First of all, I love every minute of it. And I feel like, like our country and our people, the Jewish people, need it. Aspiring to make technological and managerial education available to all, JCT reaches out to various sectors of society, such as the Haredi community, enabling many who would otherwise not have had the opportunity to embark on a high-tech education to successfully achieve an academic degree and take their place in Israel's industrial technological workforce. There is an ever-increasing awareness within the Haredi public of the need for professional education, enabling Haredi to support themselves and their communities by gaining an academic professional education. Mahon Aveh, JCT's uh, program for Haredi men, gives us the opportunity to become high-tech engineers and managers. More than 60 high-tech companies have been established in Israel by JCT graduates and faculty. Of the four founders of NDS, three were JCT graduates. Today, NDS is the world's leading provider of pay television services. We have here in uh, Al Cielo workers from different uh, parts of the Israeli society. We have both religious and non-religious. We have newcomers, whether from the United States or from Russia uh, or from other parts of the world. We have uh, many graduates of uh, Mahon Lev and of uh, Mahon Tal working for us here. NDS contributes to Jerusalem's economy. We have over 1,000 software engineers and over 150 are graduates from the JCT. In the back of my mind, there's always the thought of how do I help the society? How do I make Israel a better place to be? JCT creates for its students an environment which encourages the development of commercially viable applications of scientific ideas. This combination of scientific research and entrepreneurship vision is a hallmark of our college. Here we see an example of a digital mammogram that the radiologist has to interpret in order to detect breast cancer. The mammogram contains a lot of information that is not readily available for the radiologist. We are developing algorithms using the most advanced machine learning techniques in order to detect suspicious lesions. This assists the radiologist in the detection of breast cancer in the very early stages of the disease when treatment is most beneficial. יש כאן לא רק לימוד של מקצוע תורה עם דרך ארץ, ידע טכנולוגי ואחר. יש פה חינוך לערכים. הבוגר המצוי של מכון לב הוא ראש הגשר לאחד את כל השכבות לעם אחד יחיד ומיוחד. Israel has grown from a developing country to a global leader in advanced technologies. The Jerusalem College of Technology is at the forefront of this achievement. The Jerusalem College of Technology, what Israel needs today. Yeah.